Good morning. It's quarter past nine. This morning, a woman whose sister and mother were shot by her stepfather at the family farm in Surrey tells this programme why she wanted to visit the scene of their deaths. 82-year-old John Lowe murdered his wife Christine and stepdaughter Lucy Lee, along with four puppies, in 2014. Police had returned his shotguns to him before he murdered them. Christine Lee's other daughter was at her family home three miles away. She was arrested after the deaths and now an indep independent police complaints commission review has found misconduct claims against one Surrey police sergeant involved in the case. But two other detectives have been cleared. Almost three years after the murders, Stacey wanted to revisit the scene where her family was killed and asked us to be there with her. During the visit, she becomes very upset but was determined to carry on. And you might find some of the details in Noel Phillips' report distressing. It's exactly the same. It's very eerie. You know, it's almost like expecting something to happen. My heart is just erratic, yeah. For the first time in three years, Stacey Banner has returned to the family farm near Farnham in Surrey, where her sister Lucy and her mom Christine were shot dead in 2014 by this man her stepfather, John Lowe. It brings back so many terrible memories. It's just, just awful place, awful. Why did you want to come back? Just to see if there was anything that reminded me of them. And my sister painted those gold. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'll come back again. The two deceased appeared to have gunshot wounds. The officers also found a total of four dogs at the address, all of whom also had, appeared to have had gunshot wounds. So what drove this 82-year-old to carry out such a brutal double murder? If he hadn't have got those, if he hadn't got those guns back, then they would be here. No ifs or buts about it. They would be alive, they would be fine, my children would be, you know, able to see them. A year before the killings, in March 2013, John Lowe's seven shotguns were seized by Surrey police, following allegations he made threats to kill. But five months later, the guns and his licence were returned. And in February 2014, Christine, who had known Lowe for more than 25 years, was shot at point-blank range. Her daughter Lucy escaped and made a frantic 999 call before she too was shot dead. So when Lucy made that 999 call... She's running down the drive, OK, and making that call. That's what she's doing. Exactly that. That's what she's doing. Surrey police were strongly criticised by the Independent Police Complaints Commission for returning John Lowe's collection of shotguns. Get proven, and it was proven. Stacey's account of what happened that day is very distressing. You know, my mum was cowering. She was on her knees, cowering. Can you imagine having to beg for your life? That's what my mum did. It's just barbaric. The police described what happened in the house mm. as an execution. It's worse than an execution. Executions are quick. And I keep thinking, you know, she should have hid. It took a long time to die. It took her quite a long... It was an instant with Lucy. You know, the police took 45 minutes to get there. So it was an instant, because this... Um. Gosh, she's so brave. Wasn't she brave? Um. 
So then he beat her, shot the dogs. Then stood over her with that gun. Fucking <laughs> absolute monster. He couldn't let me have her, you see. He couldn't let me have her. He couldn't leave me her. He couldn't leave me her. He couldn't leave me her. I want her back. John Lowe, just hours after being arrested, calmly talking to police, he claimed the murder was an accident. I was going through the door, holding the gun up to go through the door. They were both barricading me in front of me, barricading me. And I pulled the trigger, I don't, I don't think I even meant to. Now, Surrey police had records of John Lowe's violent history. He had made repeated threats to kill and even lied on his firearms application, but yet he was still given a license to hold a gun. One of the reasons why people are so shocked, rightly, is because this is not commonplace in England. So why were warning signs missed? I've come to meet Surrey's police and crime commissioner, David Munro. What went wrong? A lot, a lot of things. I'm afraid uh, the firearms licensing unit uh, did not behave as it should have done uh, and uh, made uh, catastrophic uh, mistakes which led to this tragic, tragic results. There was a catalogue of errors um, in the firearm licensing department. They handed John Lowe back his guns and as a result of that, he murdered both Christine and Lucy. Absolutely right. As soon as uh, uh, the murders happened, uh, we got in independent police forces uh, to review our firearms licences. So uh, I am confident that the firearms licensing unit uh, is now fit for purpose, which it clearly wasn't at the time. And uh, That's deeply you know, disturbing, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. The, the uh, tragedy should never have happened. The two officers who were held responsible for failing to carry out proper checks on John Lowe have since been dismissed from Surrey Police. He was just, his job was as a guard dog. Mm. Mandy Farrance worked with John Lowe and says she still has nightmares about him. Speaking for the first time, she says that she was also threatened by the pensioner on his farm. We had the RSPCA there, we had the police there. He didn't have his guns back at this time. We had to remove all the dogs from the farm because the RPCA were taking them. And John stood at the fence and said, if I had my guns, I'd shoot the effing lot of you. They're still giving him his guns back later on. And he said that in he front of the police? He said that in front of the police. While we were walking out with, with arms full of dogs on leads, we'd had to borrow leads to get the dogs away from there. When did the last time when you see her? No. Just before she went to heaven. Yeah. Stacy, her two children, and her husband Andrew say they are still coming to terms with the pain their family has endured. The circumstances and and how brutal the murdering was, and the more and more that came out over the time, the more dreadful it got. And then you hear, st then you see stuff on the news that you wasn't even told yourself. You find out on the news that what actually had happened instead of being told by the police. It's just not... wasn't great to see Stacey watching that kind of thing and, then, and learning it that way. I mean, it should have been done the better... should have been dealt with better, definitely. And it's all the more upsetting for Stacey that the mom and sister she loved so much should have died in such tragic circumstances. I can't forgive him. I can't forgive that pain. They were incompetent, they were complacent, and they've enabled John Lowe to murder. That's it. What are you doing in order to prevent this happening ever again? 
we have implemented in full all recommendations. We have a new leadership team in place. Uh, I'm confident they are giving this whole area, it's a complex area, firearms licensing, uh, the attention uh, that it deserves. Uh, and I will be making sure that they keep uh, their eye on the ball. Don Lowe, seen here in 2014, will spend the rest of his life in prison. Christine and Lucy Lee's murders offer a rare glimpse into a tragic crime and the impact on the victims left behind. Stacy says that she's decided to speak out with her family in the hope that her story will resonate as a vivid account of what happens when mistakes are made. He has robbed my life because I have no roots. Everyone's got that, I'm going to my mum's this weekend or my mum's taking me for lunch, I haven't got that. I've got to live with this forever. It's every day, it's relentless. But I won't give up. I won't give up on them. Never. Just last week, a Surrey police detective involved in the case was found guilty of misconduct after arresting Stacey in 2014. This was following the death of her mom and sister. Meanwhile, two other detectives were cleared. Noel Phillips reporting and we will talk to Stacey Banner live later on in the programme.